this is Marco Lopez with MindTune here, and I want to share with you an idea that could absolutely change your life and your relationships. It certainly has changed mine. I'm going to explain this to you, this idea to you, in a very brief way, and I hope that you can get the heart of it and begin to use it to be able to improve your own mindset. Because here at MindTune, what we share are ideas that help you to improve your mindset and especially things that calm your mind so that you can be more confident and you can do better in everything that you do. So a lot of times people, uh, we, we crowd our minds with, with just busyness, for example. Like on my desk, I might have so, many, so much unfinished business, things that I haven't gotten to yet or a list of things to do and I haven't prioritized any of it and so it's just all creating space in my mind, that creates a lot of mental noise. But there is one thing that we do as human beings that creates, fabricates so much mental noise inside of us and we do it to ourselves and we don't even realize that we're doing it to ourselves. That is when we cannot see other people clearly, but we see them the way that we want to see them or the way that we need to see them. Let me explain this idea here. Um, I, we all see it, and we see it all the time, and we see it in ourselves as well. But just think of a, a family conflict where you've got two people who, can, who are at war, kind of. They're at war mentally. They are searching for faults in the other person. Two people in a family, maybe, right? Where you're trying to... Imagine you're trying to come in between and you're trying to help these two people get along, but all each person can see is the negative in the other person. No, that person did it and that person did it and that person doesn't understand. And the other one's saying, no, but did you hear what they told me and did you hear that? And so each person is trying to, to gather up all the evidence of why they are right and why the other person is wrong. And that's exactly why they can't see the other person clearly because they get into this mode we get into this mode when we're in that state of mind, that negative state of mind, where what we're doing is all we're doing is we're dedicating ourselves to find all these evidences against that person to prove why they're wrong and why we're right. And what it does is just creates this, this, this storm inside of us. See, what you want in your mind, what you want ideally, is you want a very calm mind. Imagine a calm lake. It's just, it's got this beautiful reflection of a mountain in this lake because it's so calm. That's what you want in your mind. The opposite of that is when we have all this storminess inside, these, these overlapping thoughts and fast thoughts, and we have those, and, and, and those thoughts, what they do is they block us from the bigger picture of things. They block us from our, one of our greatest gifts that we can have as human beings and that is the ability to connect to a wiser mind, to a higher mind, to a mind that's capable of, that, that, that has vision, that has perspective, that can see the bigger picture of things. And so whenever we're doing anything that's blocking our access to that vision, we are, we're just blurring our minds. And, and uh, your mind is your most important attribute. It's your, it's your most important asset that you have. So you want to keep it very, very, you want to keep it in good working order, in good shape. But again, this scenario that happens with human beings when we get into a conflict with someone else and we're just looking for faults and it, that, it absolutely destroys that mental peace that we want. So imagine, that let's talk for just a minute about how we can overcome that. Imagine that somebody comes at you a customer maybe, a customer comes at you and they are just pointing fingers at you saying, your company did this to me and your company did this and I was mistreated and you guys told me this and la la la. And they're just so uptight. And one person, maybe your reaction would be to just wait, hold on, cool down. Like you can't talk to me this way and just respond that way. Or the other response is when you start out with a very calm mind and you have that calm mind and you, instead of defending yourself or having your fists up to defend yourself, you are asking yourself the question, I wonder what this person's 
inner world is like. I wonder what their life is like. I wonder what their day must have been like. You could even ask yourself what their upbringing might have been like. But this person is in a lot of pain. I bet they're in a lot of pain. Otherwise, they wouldn't be acting like this. What can I do to ease their pain? What can I do to help them? How can I serve them today? What kind of actions would that lead you to do with that customer? Would lead you to listen. Maybe you listen. Maybe you start to get feelings or insights about what would be most helpful to that person. I bet this person just needs someone to really listen to them. I bet no one's really listened to them. So I'm just going to listen. And so you listen. You're like, yes, sir, I understand that. Yeah, you felt like nobody, nobody paid attention to that request that you had or, or nobody, it, you felt like they, nobody took it seriously. Sorry to hear that, right? And you're, you're listening to that and you're really taking it in. You're really, well, you're really, you're listening to them. You're, you're writing it down. And you're, what you're really doing is you're being helpful to them. You're trying to give them what they need, what they need right now. Um, and so as you do that, you do that and you see them as a person, you see them in a more loving way, and that person is pretty soon diffused, where if you had come at them with fists or with, you know, defending yourself and say, no one talks to me that way, and then that person just is going to escalate it more and more and more, and pretty soon you've got this, this very highly escalated conversation going. But the wise person... If you care about your still lake and you want to keep that lake calm and still continuously, you look at every single person that you interact with and you look at them with love. You look at them, you see beyond whatever is going on, whatever their present behavior is showing, and you see them as a person of value, a person to be loved, a person who is worth loving and worth getting to know. And you treat them that way. And when you do that, they have nothing to fight against, nothing to resist. You see problems in families. You see problems in, in work situations where people just have this conflict going. Everyone is just, you know, as long as this conflict is going, everybody's just looking for more evidence to poke blame at the other person. And it's something that isn't resolved until somebody, until one person can be very mature and just decide all they're going to do is look for reasons to love. They're just going to love. They're going to, and what it requires is a change of heart. You've actually got to change your heart. And in mindset change, a change of heart is probably the hardest thing to do. It's when you have to admit that you're wrong, have to admit that what you're doing may be hurting the other person, is hurtful to the other person, and really isn't solving any problems. And so you under, undergo this change of heart and you see that person for the person that they really are, for the value that they truly have, and you start treating them that way, and you diffuse the situation. So prioritize your mental calmness and resolve the internal wars that you have with other people by changing your heart towards them, asking yourself deeper questions about them. Why might they be acting that way? And when you do that, you are giving a gift to them, yes, because you're going to treat them with more respect, but you're giving a greater gift to yourself because you're giving yourself mental peace. Put that into practice and I know you'll love it. Have a great day.